Hi guys, so finally the first exam of the year have happened, so NMAT have happened today. So in this video we will talk about the complete analysis of the NMAT paper, what went wrong, what was new, what you should be have avoided. So I will walk you through the complete process, complete analysis of the NMAT 2018 paper. Fine. So first of all I have divided NMAT into the 12 sections, so you can see here 6 sections in quant, 4 sections in verbal and 3 sections in logic. So 13 sections in all. So I will break it down to 13th section, how we should have performed the 13th section. See the problem is, this is I have been talking about in earlier videos as well, is that you can't handle the complete paper as one paper. Let's break it up into parts. Fine, so we will talk about part by part. So first is arithmetic. So arithmetic last year was 7 questions, this time there are 9 questions on arithmetic. Modern maths, 10 questions. The number of questions have drastically increased in modern maths. Fine, numbers and geometry were 9 questions. Numbers, 4 geometry 5 now this is going to change every day and with every person if two you and me are given the paper same time same day your paper will be different from my paper so don't take me quote me for for this thing ke yaar tumne to kaha tha 6 question aayega mere to 8 question aa gaya because it going to change person to person but we need a benchmark ke what happened with my friend so that according to that i can prepare so I'm walking you through all these things okay so this is what quant was there so 28 mark ka paper was quant so there's a possibility you get 24 marks per quant, 28 marks per 30 marks per quant. So that number of questions will change person to person. Fine. DI 8 question, table based DI 8 question, DI other 8 question. The first major change which happened here was DI tournament and games. So remember in CAT we have a set for tournament and games. So that kind of a set was added in your NMAT as well. So logic based DI 4 question was the new thing which we have introduced. Data sufficiency, 5 question, which is based on quant. So that's a motor motor, no, no major change. So the value of these three have gone up now. So modern maths is the first major change which happened. And number two major change is a tournament based DI. So these are the two major changes which happened in the quant section. Overall 48 marks. So if you want to target NM, 210 cutoff. So I personally believe in 220 cutoff, total 10 marks extra, let's target 10 marks extra. So if you want 210 cutoff, 210, you have to get 28 question correct out of 48 questions in quant. Fine, so that's your target. So we'll keep the target as 30 only because 220 should be your target. So if you want 220, 30 marks you need from quant for that. I have to attempt around 35 questions. Obviously because there is no negative marking, I have to solve every question. But you have to make sure that you do attempt at least 35 questions, nice good attempt and out of them 30 correct. So with probably around 80% accuracy which is a decent enough accuracy to expect from anybody. Okay. So this is what happened to the quant section. Moving to the verbal section, so there are 4 parts in verbal, RC, parajumble, toast test at 1, so RC remains same, 8 questions. And typically like last year, one set was easy, one set was difficult. Parajumble and close passage, 8 questions. Five, 4 on parajumble and 4 on the close test, 8 questions. Vocabulary, 10. So this time they increased the number of questions of vocabulary to 10. And grammar was 8, grammar was 6. So that's the third major change which happened. The number of questions varied between verbal and uh, vocabulary and grammar so again don't quote me that tomorrow if you get a different paper pattern because i expect your paper pattern to change from day one to day two to day three so it is a possibility in vocabulary you might get six question and grammar ten question but yeah from as of today this is a major change third change that vocabulary and grammar have interchanged so the number of questions have changed vocabulary ten question okay moving to the logic section so 40 question of logic this time the major shock was puzzles were less. So there were only one set of puzzles which were there in NMAT. So traditionally there used to be two to three sets of puzzles but this time morning batch, uh, today's batch there was only one set of uh, puzzles. Critical reasoning on the other hand, verbal reasoning, critical reasoning, okay, strong argument, weak argument have increased to 15. So 15 question on critical reasoning and logic remaining question. So logic motor motor remains same, 21 question, that's your breaker for the 40 marks. So that's your fourth change. 
fifth change. So change number four is critical reasoning have increased to 15 marks. Fine. And puzzles have decreased to four sets, four questions. Okay. So motor motor, this is your breakup for the end math section. Now, if you want to target 24 question correct, 220 cutoff. So 30 you have to need to correct in quant, 18 correct in verbal. So if you can target 18, so let's make it 20. So that I can keep a target of 220. Ticket. And 24 ke jaga, if I can make it 25. So 30, 20, 25. That's your target for your 220, magical number of 220, which you can easily achieve in this year's NMAT paper. Because overall the difficulty level have not changed much. Quant is as medium as CAT level, not very high, not very low. Many questions on modern maths which you need to focus on. Attempt 25 and 32 attempts for the verbal section if you want to clear the cutoffs. Okay. So, motor motor, no major change from C ticking mock. So, if you are giving C ticking mock, do expect the paper to be a little more higher than that. Okay. If you have a mocks, if you have 210, then you have 200. If you have 220, then you have 210. So, there was, I would say, 10 marks more difficult than C ticking mocks. Okay. If you are giving C ticking mocks. Okay. So this is all from my, my side as a major breakup for the NMAT section. So the, these are the five small changes. Modern maths, number of questions have increased. Arithmetic questions have increased. Fine. Maths point of view. DI, they have introduced one set of logic based DI. Number second change. Third change is grammar and vocab. Number of questions will vary from person to person. Puzzles have reduced and critical reasoning 15 questions. Okay. So to clear the cutoff, your target is 30 correct, 20 correct, 25 correct in each of this section. And from the uh, attempt point of view, 35, 25, 32 is an early attempt. So please pause the video and not uh, note uh, all these things. If you are seating students in your skill builder test, I have created these 13 sections for the NMAT paper. I want you to perform in each of these sections as we go along. Okay. So all the 13 section ka, sectional tests are there. Aapne mock diya. Which of, whichever of these areas where you are weak at, we need to improve those areas. Okay. So, you have to the paper de apna NMAT. NMAT ka window 1 has started now. So, with every window, I will try to launch a new video in case there are major changes expected. But, uh, please, again, I am saying the same thing. Don't expect same breakup for you as well. Breakup might change from person to person. But, overall, level of difficulty remains same. Okay. Lot of question will remain same from window 1 to window 2 sorry window between window 1 so that they can easily uh, normalize the scores so whatever score will will be normalized at the end of the day so don't worry about the normalization your target should be 220 220 target will be easily score all the best thank you